we are going to proceed with trigonometry and now we are going to look at the three trigonometric ratios in the quadrants. So there are four types of quadrants. We have the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So in the first quadrant all the three trigonometric ratios are positive. So this means the sine, the cosine and the tine they are all positive. Then in the second quadrant the sine is positive. That means the cosine and the tan are negative. If we come to the third quadrant, the tan is positive. That means the sine and the cosine are negative. Then if we come to the fourth quadrant, the cosine is positive. That means the sine and the tan are negative. So let me just draw these four trigonometric ratios. Uh, let me just draw the four quadrants. So these are the four uh, quadrants. We have the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. So he, in here, we have uh, the first quadrant, we have the second quadrant, we have the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. So in the first quadrant, all the three trigonometric ratios are positive. Then the angles in the first quadrant, they go up to 90 degrees. So they go up to 90 degrees. Then in the second quadrant, sine, sine here is positive. That means cosine is negative and tan is negative. And the angles here, they go up to 180 degrees. Then if we come to the third quadrant, tan here is positive. That means uh, sine is negative and cosine is negative negative. If we come to the fourth quadrant, cosine here is positive. That means tan is negative and sine is negative. And the angles in the fourth quadrant, they go up to 360 degrees. And the sine in the third quadrant, they go up to 270 degrees. So these are the four types of quadrants. Let us look at some of the examples So for the first example it reads, find the angle between 0 degrees and 90 degrees which satisfy the equation. So we have cos theta is equal, is equal to 2 over 3. And we know that cos is positive in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. And in the first quadrant the angles they go up to 90 degrees. And in the fourth quadrant the angles they go up to 360 degrees. And since in the question we have been told to find the angle that is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, that means we are just going to consider the first quadrant. So to find the value of theta there, we just say theta is equal to cos inverse of 2 over 3. So theta is equal to 48.2 degrees. So that's 48 point two degrees. Let us look at the second example.
So the uh, second question reads, solve the equation cos theta is equals to 0 0.9374. Theta is greater than or equal to 0 degrees, but less than or equal to 360 degrees. So the range they have been given from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. And I know that cosine is positive in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, the angles, they go up to 90 degrees. And in the fourth quadrant, the angles, they go up to 360 degrees. So let us find the values of theta. So I'm going to say cos theta is equal to 0 0.937. And to find the value of theta there, I'll say theta is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.937. So theta there is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.937, that's 20.4 degrees. So this means this is my answer in the first quadrant. That's my answer in the first quadrant. Let us look at how we can find the other value. So the other value in the fourth quadrant we are going to say 360 degrees minus 20.4 degrees and the answer there is 339.6 degrees. So this means that the value of theta is equal to 20.4 degrees and 339.6 degrees so these are the values of theta and the simple way in which you can know the four uh, quadrants so let me just write them down so this is my x axis it's my y I said here there is uh, uh, all the three trigonometric ratios are positive. Here we have sine, cosine. Uh, here we have tan, sorry. And here we have cosine. So this is the first quadrant, the second, the third, and the fourth. So uh, the slogan that you can use to master this, you can just say, all students drink kachas. So all students, that means all the three trigonometric ratios are positive. Then students means that sine is positive in the second quadrant then drink so you just represent it by t that means tan is positive in the third quadrant and kachasu that represents uh, cosine and that means uh, cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant let us now look at on how you can draw the graphs of these three trigonometric ratios So the first graph that we are going to draw is that of sine and to draw the graph of sine I'm going to draw my y axis and uh, I have my x axis there so I have 1 and negative 1 then I have 90 degrees I have 180 degrees 270 degrees and 360 degrees so the first point it's here which is 0 comma 0 that's the first point the second point I have 90 degrees comma 1 the third point I have 180 degrees comma 0 the fourth point I have 
270 degrees comma negative 1 and the fifth point have 306 degrees comma 0 so the graph is going to look in this way so you need to know how you draw these graphs sometimes in the exam they can tell you can you draw the graph of sine of cosine or tan let us look at the second graph so the cosine graph So I have my y-axis, I have 1, I have negative 1, I have my 90 degrees, I have uh, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. So the first coordinate, I have 1, comma, I have 0, comma 1. The second coordinate, I have 90 degrees, comma 0. The third coordinate, I have 108 degrees comma negative 1 the fourth coordinate I have 270 degrees comma 0 and the fifth coordinate I have 360 degrees comma 1 so the graph is going to look in this way so this is how you draw the graph of cosine let us look at uh, on how you can draw the graph of tangent so I have my y-axis I have my x-axis on my y-axis I have 1 and negative 1 I have 90 degrees 108 degrees 270 degrees and 360 degrees so the first uh, graph that I need to draw comes from here goes in this way the other one comes down here the other one goes up the other one comes down so this is the graph of the tangent so this is how you draw the graphs of the three trigonometric ratios and this means we are done with trigonometry but where you still have questions you can ask in the group thank you very much